Hi there, let's try to understand what is Azure Active Directory and we're going to focus in this lecture uh, more about Azure Active Directory, the components of the Azure Active Directory and what what it is and why it's so important to understand Azure Active Directory as a solution architect perspective. So I would put it into three different key components. The first one would be the identity management. I'm going to explain in a minute and the second one would be the enterprise access management and the third one would be the identity and access security management so let's begin with what exactly this technical terms and why does this really mean to us and let's take some of the common scenarios to understand better within these three components or within these three key components areas if you take one of the example like you may be working in an organization that has a number of users across a number of departments like marketing HR sales so within your organization you need to manage access for those staff members uh, to a range of different solutions so maybe finance application just uh, for the finance team members to have the access and similarly HR applications for just for the HR team members even modern cloud solutions like office 365 or so on just to you know grant access for a specific uh, persons or maybe team members now to help manage the access for our staff members to these different systems uh, this is where we need a solution like Azure Active Directory. So that's where it's going to use the Azure Active Directory. We have just taken one simple basic example, but let's also try to understand in the future uh, up within the upcoming, maybe within this lecture or the upcoming lectures more about the Azure Active Directory. Let's see these three components and we'll start to understand about the identity management. So identity management as one of the key responsibilities of Azure Active Directory and it's like a repository. So when it's a repository, it's going to store your all user information, uh, maybe for all of your systems and applications, all that will be stored. Uh, the key information uh, needs to be stored somewhere. right? So that's where you're going to use the Azure Active Directory. That's where it's going to help you to do. So let's see. Uh, for all of your staff members, you might need to store information about your uh, information about mobile phone numbers, first name, last name, the staff members, department, and so on. And the behind the scenes, as you're active directly, that's where it's gonna store. So here you're gonna manage some of that other important information like credentials also actual username and password that is being used along with the things like the domain name that is being used by the staff members uh, to access so i can say all about identity management is like your repository for now right so let's understand about the enterprise access management so let's take one more example to understand about enterprise access management so let's say you have a finance uh, application and that needs to be only granted access for your finance team so that that's where you're going to use these enterprise access management features uh, similarly HR application for only HR team and your application should automatically log in if the user is already logged into his machine with the single sign-on option so that's where you're going to use the uh, enterprise access management and uh, now also we can see that enterprise access management is a control access so if you look at the uh, identity and access security management I would put this into the completely you can secure your user accounts or your identities with the access so you are going to give the proper access for your resources and apart from that it's really important to us these days especially that we do all that we can to secure the identity for our users by enabling the multi-factor authentication or maybe just to access your specific VMs with the help of just-in-time access. Uh, it means that if a VM is needs to be accessed within that specific time only, we will be enabling for the end users to 
get grant the access that's fully automated post to that it gets automatically taken now the access so it's fully automated so all these things even the identity protection uh, makes our risk management solutions that are available from Azure Active Directory. So these all are we're going to learn within the Azure Active Directory and this is where it's going to very important Azure Active Directory. Let's also talk about uh, other important information to understand about traditional type of environment that you might have or they might be working currently and you wanted to move to the uh, the modern management solution. So before we jump into the modern management solution, let's try to understand for the legacy or the current uh, management, how we are doing with the Active Directory. I'm not talking about Azure Active Directory, I'm talking about Windows Active Directory, just the legacy Active Directory. So you, so you might manage your resources in your users' access uh, to a different solutions. No one would really consider how an enterprise might traditionally architect their environments. We're gonna see something like this, just the a high level, I'm not gonna go in depth how the legacy architecture is designed but you may have a single office in this example uh, within that office we may have a, a range of different infrastructure like we can have some of the application servers uh, or maybe we can have some of the web servers or database servers and a range of other things and typically that we would do this uh, we would host that within our single location or maybe a multiple locations and we connect interna internally uh, from one data center to another data center and we trust them so when we say we trust we are going to really trust all the employees who are accessing within that boundary or within that infrastructure so this can be a single room or single hosted environment or maybe a private environment where you are hosting your servers so it's traditional architecture model this is you trust your own environment so you say uh, everyone within the office is trusted you might have to split your infrastructure to use uh, you would use this, for example, two different networks. We might have to uh, maybe isolate within the DMZ or within your client network within this. But at the end, you are going to trust it actually, either DMZ or uh, a users coming from the or the internet uh, again with the help of maybe a site-to-site -site VPN or some kind of you know VPN a solution at the end you are actually trusting them because the user accounts are coming from one location or from one legacy identity management solution as your active directory so so this could be a traditional design I can say but you know what happens if you want to trust additional Identity management, maybe which is maybe Dropbox, modern application, or maybe Office 365 or Salesforce, you cannot go and trust them. So that's where um, modern design comes into the picture. So let's jump into that. So when we look at the modern design, now let's think about the modern solution. When you look at this specific diagram, uh, you're already thinking about solutions like Office 365 or maybe Salesforce or other software that's as a service solutions that are outside of your office and you can use with the single identity if at all you have a single identity you can manage uh, all of them by trusting so this is where as your active directory comes into uh, a key role as identity server where it can work for your cloud infrastructure and it can work with your software as a service like as we just talked about office 365 or salesforce or dropbox all other kind of you know applications where a platform as a service model also it can work or it can integrate with the identity management and also the managed devices let's think about the devices it could be a mobile device or any other device which is a purely on a cloud um, enabled device you can manage them and you can also manage your on-premises resources which you used to manage with your legacy infrastructure that also can be managed with the help of other integrations so you can fully manage your on-premises resources so if you you know go for end of the course you might understand you know very similar infrastructure 
at least for the Azure Active Directory, if you go in depth, let's say this is the Azure Active Directory, this side, the right side, and in the left side, you might have your on-premises uh, legacy infrastructure where you might have a web server, file server, all of that. Whatever, if you want to you know, access them um, from a user, from the Azure Active Directory, so you need to have some kind of you know, tools integration. Uh, let's say here you have the Azure, uh, let's say here you have the Windows Active Directory service and uh, this is connected with Azure Active Directory AD Connect tool, AAD Connect we call. So this tool will sync up all the identities or the user objects that are on your on-premises network and it gets syncs with your cloud tool. So here the cloud identity management solution is Azure Active Directory. So the objects that are in your on-premises gets appear here and you can manage you can grant the access and you take the power of your Azure Active Directory so what kind of you know power you have with the Azure Active Directory like you can go for multi-factor authentication or you can enable OAuth tokens or web applications fully managed or graph API based authentication uh, enable applications can be accessed for your on-premises users so you get all the advantages uh, directly f uh, even on your on-premises identity management solution also when you integrate or when you use the AAD connect tool as your AD connect connect tool and then you have that option so we're going to talk on that topic in a minute or so let's just stick for the modern solutions to understand more and if you look at this diagram you might be thinking about solutions like office 365 Dropbox or Salesforce, all these other software as a service solutions that are outside of your office and that you would uh, think that uh, how to control the people granting access for those resources. Uh, let's say if a user coming from home and, and people working from home or maybe people coming from an internet cave and they are trying to work and you need to provide the access for them and at the same time you have to secure your resources. So these days of years, uh, it's very important to trust the users. At the same time, we have to secure and minimize our risk. So these things are offered within the modern solutions. So we need to change how we look at the things and we know we need to think about how we can secure our environment when users are outside of our network, when you might be using different devices let's say the user coming from home device or from office solutions or from on-premises solutions that are uh, completely we have to look into a different perspective so that's called a identity centric security so something we refer always this word as identity centric security this is where we now um, say that really the identity is now what is really paramount in running security and we cannot really control the network security perimeter as much as we used to do so now let's do all that we can secure the identity and that is why Azure Active Directory has become such a really key solution and as you move throughout the lessons within this course you are going to see all the different ways that we can go about securing our services that are outside of our office and solutions that are on on premises even things like device management and access to azure resources is as well and uh, this is something that is provided through azure active directory in order to achieve this azure active directory has a, a range of different features that are available and we're going to talk all these uh, features that i'm going to talk now so you see here you have total six different uh, key features that I can uh, put on this slide so these are the six key different features that are offered by Azure Active Directory so let's begin with the identity platform so as we talked earlier identity platform is a I can refer this as a complete repository so when we talk about the repository it's gonna store all your identities like username maybe passwords or user phone number or such things are going to store as identity platform and when we look at identity security 
things like you can secure with the help of Azure Active Directory privileged identity management. That's another additional feature within the Azure Active Directory. As I said, you know, these are the key features. So definitely a privileged identity PIM, we call sometime PIM. So which will also secure your identity. So no user will have the administrative privileges, but they can grant themselves as the admin privileges uh, on a specific change request based or such things like a time time bounded access will be granted otherwise they are the normal users so you are going to secure and this is going to be fully automated by the way and you're going to secure in this way all the access even uh, think about the multi-factor authentication so mfa so mfa where the users will be ask to prove themselves if the user is coming from internet based location or maybe internet cave or maybe new location altogether he will be challenged to prove himself he's a valid genuine user with the by sending an sms code to uh, input that code or maybe a app based password or tap the password that is popping up on a phone a mobile phone so such things are proved with the help of multi-factor authentication. And let's also talk about the uh, B2C, uh, which is used into the development. So development to your applications and other such things. And let's also talk about the monitoring as a, one of the key features. If we look at the monitoring, uh, we can talk about identity protection again here, where, where you can actually think in other way of risk management let's say you can check for the audit logs by doing audit logs you can minimize the risk management and security monitoring and such things completely uh, comes under monitoring so any kind of you know log specific to the azure active directory or or different uh, monitoring things can be considered under the monitoring especially logs and risk minimizing things and coming back to the integration yes you can do the integration with your hybrid active directory as we talked in the previous slide um, like where you can go for hybrid identity so if you have on-premises active directory and you're trying to integrate with your as your active directory so both identities get synced that means a user in on-premises also take the advantage of as your active directory let's say for MFA or privileged identity management so what happens is uh, that's called hybrid ad so you can sync up your uh, windows active directory with azure active directory so that you get the benefits of azure active directory and also you can enable single sign-on and uh, as we talked about azure aad connect tool which will be useful for the syncing purpose and also domain services can be used and coming back to the enterprise access uh, which is the um, which is useful for the managing security and applications and devices and collaborate with your azure active directory with the help of a b2b that's a business to business so if you have the enterprise uh, business to business deals or business to business integration of the uh, identity management that's where it's going to use um, the azure active directory so these are the key features that i can put it in this slide so i hope um, this is useful for you let's do a quick review on what we have learned so far firstly we discussed azure active directory what it is and how it is useful and the key features of azure active directory thank you for your time i'll catch you in the next lecture